the Democratic right of us. Revelations continue to emerge from the NSA files Edward Snowden disclosed. The Guardian of London reports the British government conducted extensive surveillance on foreign diplomats attending the 2009 G20 summit in London. Britain's NSA counterpart, the GCHQ, established fake Internet cafes to spy on foreign delegates' computer use. The agency also hacked into officials' Blackberries to monitor their emails and phone calls. The the NSA played a role in the operation by sharing information on the phone calls of Russian leader Dmitry Medvedev. Other targets included British government allies such as South Africa and Turkey. The spying appears to have been spurred by the British government's desire for an advantage in the G20 talks. An internal briefing paper said the GCHQ's intent was to provide, quote, intelligence relevant to the government's desired outcomes for its presidency of the G20. The news comes just as Britain's hosting the G8 summit, which begins today. All G8 members belong to the G20, and the latest revelations are likely to fuel tensions. Ahead of the G8, thousands of people marched in Northern Ireland near where the two-day summit is being held. Well, G8 has come, and for every action, there's a reaction. Our reaction is, you need to listen to the people. There's a chance for a better world here. Uh, the way you're doing it isn't working, and it isn't fair. We're here with our kids today to uh, teach them how to protest peacefully against uh, what we see are greedy fat cats who are here to take over um, this small part of the world and all over the world. On Sunday, Amnesty International staged a rally for the closure of Guantanamo Bay outside a Belfast venue where President Obama is speaking today. Amnesty spokesperson Patrick Corrigan said Guantanamo's continued existence undermines Obama's credibility on global issues. And we say to President Obama, come here, support our peace, but support, support peace and the rule of law internationally by closing Guantanamo and ceasing the breaches of international law. Then we can take you more seriously as a global leader. At least.